We are pre-nursing students at the University of Texas at Arlington and today we're going to show you how to take a patient's blood pressure. What you'll need to take your patient's blood pressure is a stethoscope, a blood pressure cuff, a chair, and of course your patient. Kaylee has graciously volunteered to be our patient today so let's get started. First make sure your patient is sitting with their arm relaxed on a table of a comfortable height and he or she removes any long sleeve clothing. Place the blood pressure cuff snugly around the patient's arm, lining up the index arrow with the brachial artery, making sure that the pressure release valve is in the closed position. To close the air valve, turn the valve toward you until tight. To open the air valve, slowly turn the valve away from you. Place the stethoscope underneath the cuff in the antecubital and pump up the cuff until the pressure reads about 180 millimeters of mercury. Now, slowly turn the knob on the air valve to release air from the cuff. As the pressure slowly drops, listen for the sound with the stethoscope. When you hear the first sound, note the pressure on the dial. That is the systolic blood pressure. When the sound disappears, that pressure will be the diastolic blood pressure. Systolic pressure is the pressure generated when the heart contracts, and diastolic is the pressure when the heart is relaxed. 120 over 80 is optimal, though blood pressure varies dramatically throughout the day. Thank you for watching today. We hope you now have a better understanding of how to take blood pressure. Check out our blog at utanursing.wordpress.com for more helpful information concerning nursing at UT Arlington.